Hello, horsey people. Welcome back to Rival Stars Horse Racing, of course. Guys, we are breeding this really weird colour. <laughs> Look in front of you, there's like, there's loads of weird colours, but obviously because of the thumbnail, you're going to know which colour I'm banging on about. So this weird, this is called a bloody shoulder colour. Not being rude, that's generally the colour, okay? This is Aurora. This is uh, a really random horse we bred. River. River was the mum. All right. And this is when we brad, uh, do you, remember the, do you remember the video where we were breeding River? I'll leave a link to that somewhere. Boof. <laughs> somewhere around here. Uh, have a look. Um, this is an amazing colored horse, I think. Um, very strange. I actually looked it up on Google. Look it up. It's mainly in Arabs. I might be wrong there. Quote me if I'm wrong. But it's mainly in Arab horses, this color, okay? Now we have Aurora and we also have Daisy. Daisy, Daisy. Why I named this horse Daisy, I don't know. But it's, it's quite a nice name. So. Yeah, these are the bloody shoulder um, colour. Every time I say that, I feel like I'm being rude. But no, it's it's honesty. This is this is a legit colour. So, <laughs> crikey. We're going to see if we can breed that today. So, uh, we're going to obviously use the two mares that we have. Uh, you guys are looking at all these horses going, what? Yes, we have loads of cool horses here today. Basically, um, this is the whole stable block we had for when we were breeding Baron. I'll leave a link to his video somewhere as well. The new shiny black color yeah amazing i don't know why i still have strawberry short strawberry shortcake on this account but i have him fussy foghorn's been left because she is a custom creation and she'll make me loads of money if we run out of money we do have 124 million squid though to play with here and basically this account this whole stable block here it's a duplicate so anybody who sold today uh is on another account i believe I hope. So, yeah, we'll see. Right, let's go to false tools. Let's go breathe the bloody shoulder colour. Yeah, really weird. I didn't, you know, since having rival stars and also horse Eden eventing and not so much horse reality. I mean, I think they have more... They don't have as much variation in the colour. They do have good, good variations in the colours, but not as much as I'd like. Um, we'll breed... Uh, we want to breed two of our bloody shoulder ones, so... We're also going to do a video on breeding a giraffe colour horse. <laughs> We're going to do that. Aurora. Let's find Aurora a nice stallion with high stats. Because I fancy breeding high stats today. Because you guys know what I'm like. It's like an itch. That's kind of high stats. But if everything could be 65 and over, that would be wonderful. That's quite nice. That's also quite nice. Gosh, we're going to be waiting a while, I think. Come on. Get oh, my mouse does this. It just takes me in different directions. I don't want to be on the market. I might give up in a minute and just pick one. So let's use random stallions again. Because you guys like the random stallion thing, right? Yeah. Oh, it's so fun. I love this. I love breeding um, breeding for colours. So let's use this one here, actually. Let's use this one. This is Android's animal. Nice stallion. Nice chestnut stallion, I must admit. And Aurora. Let's see if we breed this bloody shoulder. Uh, let's go breed Daisy as well. With a different stallion, let's find somebody else. We could always look through the stallion's pedigree and things, but today I'm not going to do that because I kind of like the surprise, you know? Have you guys subscribed, by the way? Make sure, just check. If you feel like you have subscribed, sometimes uh, YouTube can, like, ping you off it for some bizarre reason. Don't know why. Don't quote me why. Oh, I looked at his pedigree. Oh, my gosh, he's got that. Comes with a heart on his head, but let's, uh, let's refresh. Let's get some new stallions. Oh my gosh, look at the stats on that. Look at the stats on Biscuit Bramble, guys. He's going to be cool. So, Aurora's mum was River, and Daisy's mum was Aurora, I think. We'll have to we'll have to look. So, um, let's skip now, because Aurora's actually quite cheap. So, uh, we've got eight seconds, and it's going to be a little bit cheaper. You ready, guys, to go and fight a file? Five, four, count with me. Three two one poof okay aurora let's go for it oh it's not bloody shoulder but it's really cute now if you guys remember from our plane to insane generations it's normally the third or fourth generation where something cool happens he's skipped this guy to a stallion i'm gonna call this one jed jed i don't know any jeds do you do you know a jed i don't know any jeds the stats are good on this, but it wasn't level it wasn't level ten. But hmm. okay, uh, well, Jed's nice. Let's look at his lineage then. We could use him as a stud. 
and see if he breeds. We could use him as a stud with a couple of our mares and see if he breeds anything really interesting. The only thing is, I'll have to breed him with something plain and I haven't got anything plain really. Um, no. I don't know whether that's gonna work. Okay, let's go find out what Daisy produces and then we can make a decision from there. Let's go for it. Let's go for it, what have we got? Bloody shoulders. Ooh, it's like a blue. It's, well, it's like gray, it's not blue. Level 10 though, knew it would be. I love that new stallion we found actually. That's a really nice color horse. That's gonna go really white, I think. It's really cute, it's got a little dark nose and things. Let's just skip him to stallion. I might keep him as a stallion. <laughs> love that glitch. Let's call this one Ace. Ace is a great name. One of my students have just, just got a little Cocker Spaniel puppy and they've called him Ace. Oh, that's nice, it's got a dark muzzle. I really like that dark muzzle. Oh my gosh, he's wicked, Ace. Let's use him as a stud. So what's he gonna produce? His mom and his grandma, you know. They've got that in those pedigree there. So I'm gonna sell Jed, I'm afraid, guys. Jed's lovely, I know, but he's kind of not what we're after here. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that uh, Ace here will produce some cool stuff. Should we buy him a new lady off the market? Or should we just use one of our mares here? But the only problem, problem is, Look at the amazing colours I have on this horse. <laughs> oh, on these horses. So, I mean, okay, let's just go use one of our mares. It'll save us a bit of money. And it will probably breed something really plain, actually. Let's use violets. Actually, who's... Not violet. Not... These are level eights, which is going to annoy me. I do want to breed high stats today. Giraffe might produce something really crazy. Uh, Sally's a bit different. Let's breed with Sally. So we're going to use Ace for a minute and just see if this bloody shoulder pattern comes out i'm not being rude it's generally the name of the color okay i feel i feel horrendous every time i say it uh daisy's really nice but that'd be massive inbreeding welk record yes i wanted to keep welk because she was a level 10 and that weird coloring which is kind of cool we will be doing stuff on that i need a new name for her though because the name welk is just absolutely ridiculous they're the most hideous sea creatures aren't they okay let's breed with fussy foghorn i mean fussy foghorn doesn't have any pedigree any lineage so the coloring could literally be anything so we'll see yeah i don't know what other new colors we had for the game actually but this bloody shoulder i didn't even know like was out i didn't even have a clue um what other new ones were there there was that weird roan like a rubber kind of splash and stuff loads of cool stuff right three two one do i want to breed sally do I want to? Do I want to discover Sally? Okay, they're all a million bucks, so I'm wondering if it's going to be a level ten. Could be. So these are all going to be Ace's kids. Okay, let's go for it. Ace. Oh, surprisingly plain. Level ten though, and a colt. Hmm. Cute. What do you guys think? Cute. That's cute, right? That's still cute. Oh, just put in the comments below cute.com i'm not going to call this one office paste i'm going to call this one fred <laughs> we had a cat well my grandparents had a cat years ago called fred that was like 20 years ago though anybody else know a fred that's nice oh that's a really nice color actually let's look at his lineage a second his pedigree so his pedigree is looking a little bit uh oh there's definite inbreeding going on there do, 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 do. Let's slowly move on. We'll keep Fred. If we run out of room, then you guys know we'll, what will probably happen to Fred. He'll probably get sold on. But let's go discover these other two. So we've got Welk Record and Fussy Foghorn. I love Fussy Foghorn. Welk Record. Now, my theory is that if you get two horses that are really interesting, they do tend to breed a plain horse. It's my theory. It's my theory. See what I mean? Okay, maybe my theory was right here. Oh dear. Ah, 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 it's another cult as well. What is this? Cult day? I'm going to call this one. Let's think of a real... Let's call this one... Oh, I love the name Samson. Actually, one of you guys wanted me to call a horse Samson. So I've done it. I've called a horse Samson. And I remembered. I'm sorry if I forgot for ages. I'm basically Dory from Finding Nemo. Ha! Samson! He's so nice. I love him. And Fred's... So we had like three boys here. Let's just look at Samson's lineage. Hmm. He could produce some cool stuff, I think. Maybe we should set him as a stud in a minute, but I reckon this color pattern will come through rather than that. 
We'll see. We'll see what happens. Oh, what, what are we going to do next then? I think let's go and breed the two mares again. Let's do that. Well, let's, as we've got two stables free here, let's breed our bloody shouldered horses. It's such a horrendous name, isn't it? Tell your parents. I'm not being rude. It's genuinely the name of... Oh, Palomino. Yeah. Uh, the name of this colour. Okay. What is the weirdest colour horse out there, actually? I think... I don't know. The Alatique, like, Cremello is kind of weird, isn't it? In a good way. Like, a weird good. A good weird. A weird good? You guys know what I mean. Uh, let's breed Daisy with... I do like this one, but we already used him. Let's find another stallion. Somebody a little bit random. Like, I don't tend to like those spots, because you get them all the time. Especially in the mobile version. It's a pain in the butt. Oh, another Palomino. It's a different Palomino. But we'll try and avoid any uh, inbreeding if we can. So fussy foghorn, guys. We have done videos on her in the past. She is a custom creation. One of my favourites. Because you guys know I'm a sucker for an Appaloosa. And you know I'm a sucker for a Dunn. So I just kind of smushed the two coat patterns together and I got this. But because she is a custom creation, the family line, there's nothing. So literally the colour that comes out is really, really random. As we're going to discover in about three seconds. Three, two, one. Poof. Let's go for it. Ooh, it's Maui's hook. Or Captain Hook. That's cute. Oh, it's a filly this time. We did need a filly, to be fair. That could be really interesting. Let's um, let's skip this one to Matt. Let's skip to Matt. I'm going to call this one... Oh, I wanted it to be called Captain Hook. Let's call her... Stacy. My name is Stacy. Just reminds me of Stacy off of EastEnders. Who watches EastEnders here? If you're from the UK, you'll know what I'm banging on about. We have some pretty, like, normal names going on, apart from Ace. Stacy's cool. I think we need to probably breed her with... Oh, we need to find a stallion that perhaps has the bloody shoulder, but that would take us... That will take us ages. That will literally take us ages. Let's... Should we go and see? I think we'll be very lucky. <laughs> Uh-oh. Mm -mm. That's got amazing colouring in its uh, family tree. If I was just breeding for rare colours, like just rare colours, I would go for him. Nope, nothing there. Uh oh. No, I think this will take us too long. If we don't get it in the next five attempts, then I'll move on. What's this? That's a bloody shoulder, isn't it? I think it is. Just take a look at that. Take a look at that. Remember it. Remember it. Let's just. Oh, not Fussy Foghorn. That's the wrong horse. Just trying to think, what is their, what do their pictures look like? So, oh no. Oh, okay, you can look at the pedigree still. Yes, I think it is. I think it's the same. Have we actually just found a stallion with that? Hang on, have we? Um, I'm not sure now. I don't think that is a bloody shoulder. I mean, we could always try him and see, but hmm, I just don't think it is. I don't think it is. Let's just have a look at this one. It's level seven, but. It's just going to be so hard. Need to find with the bloody shoulder in the pedigree there. Did you guys see the video on how to breed an Appaloosa? I totally did a video on that, by the way. If you missed it, go and check it out. I feel like this is a bloody shoulder, this. This is so hard. Okay, I said to you guys a fifth attempt. Like, So what's that? That's number three. Is it? Could be number three. This is number four. We'll just say it's number four. That's not a bloody shoulder, is it? That's a thingy bop. A thingy bop. That's... Ten oh dear, this is level one. Crikey, there's loads of cool colours in here. His family. Twee. Twee, twee. Which one did we look at? Was it this one? Today is Tuesday. Today is actually Tuesday as I'm recording this. Um, There's some Appaloosa and stuff in that one, but... Okay, last attempt, last attempt. If we haven't got it, then I'm just going to use someone random. Okay, Violet... Pro I mean, I love a black stallion, you guys know that. Um, Why do I keep going the wrong way here? Okay, Pharaoh, come on, Pharaoh. No. What's that? Mm, I'm not sure what this coat pattern is, but I think... Let's try Let's try these two and just see what happens. We'll breed him with Stice and see what happens. Two bays normally make something interesting. I mean, that's going to be... It's going to be a good combo, I think. So this is the bloody shoulder colour. And it is not... I'm not being rude. It's genuinely called that. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. Right, let's go to Aurora. Let's see what she produces. She's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. 
Oh, this always reminds me of chocolate, this coat pattern. Look how cute it is. It does remind me, I kind of want to eat it. Not like in a carnivorous way, like it looks like it's been moulded out of chocolate to me. Watch this thing on Netflix called, um, I'm going to call this one Coco Pop. Coco Pop. I, I've been watching this program on Netflix called Bake Squad. Oh my god, it's so good. Maybe I'm getting old because I love my baking programs now. But, yeah. Um, Let's check this one's lineage out. We've officially run out of stables though, so... Uh, okay, we're going to sell this one. One, because it's level nine. And two, he, he's got a really nice home to go to. So we're all good. Coco Pops. Who likes Coco Pops here? Oh my gosh, I love them. I kind of want to use these stallions, but at the same time, if we run out of room, I don't know what I'm going to do, you know? Uh oh. Okay, stay, Stacy. <gasps> I need my eyes checking. This is Daisy. Let's go, let's go see Daisy. Oh, cute. It's a little, it's a little chestnut with like kind of a, like a pinky face. Pink face. I might call this one Pinky. Oh, it's a filly though, so we can always use her to breed with and see what happens. Just gotta be careful on the whole, uh, the whole inbreeding thing. Uh, who had the two? I don't want to sell Ace because I love him, but who had? See, they've got two. Should we use? Let's use. We could use Fred as a stud, but Ace is also so nice. But he also has two in the family. Hmm. Fred's a little bit inbred, I'm afraid. Sorry, Bre Fred. Bread. <laughs> Bread. Okay. Okay, we get bye bye, Samson. You're lovely, but not kind of what we're after today. Not what we're after today. Guys, have you got any ideas of what uh, stable blocks we should try and breed for next? I've got a Fifty Shades base series, and we also need to do the breeding a barn full of white horses like Ace. So I might keep Ace for that. We'll see. We'll see how much money I end up having at the end of this. Could be disastrous. Violet. I love all these ones. They're so pretty. So, Pinky's nice. Could produce us something really interesting. So, let's use Pinky with that stallion we've just used for Stacy. Or we could find a new stallion. Fred. Look at him. Uh, let's use this black one for our new mare. What do we call the new mare again? Won't find it now. Pinky. Okay. Pinky's. That's good. That's good. That's good. So we've got those two in there. Now we have one stable free here. So why don't we use our new stallion with... Ooh, I'm not sure who to use. We could use Ophelia or Snowflake because the Snowflake's incredible. Let's use Snowflake. We haven't actually bred with Snowflake. I think Snowflake's going to get her own video. But what colour is that? Can you let me know in the comments below? Pinky's so cute. Uh, so Stacey, let's go to Pinky first because it's the cheapest. Are you ready? Let's go and discover what foal we get. Is it a bloody shouldered? Shoulder? Nope. It's a palomino. It's so cute. I reckon it's going to be hard to breed that uh, coat pattern, you know, chaps. Chaps. Skip to stallione. Let's skip you to stallion. Ah, mess. This is a boy. Let's call him Prince. Oh, that was a bit backwards. Prince. There we go. Cute. He's cute, though. Oh, he's kind of gone like spirit. Oh, he's gone like honey coloured. And he's a level 10. Hmm. Might need to use him, you know. He's separate. And he's level 10. Let's look at your lineage. So he's only got one. Ooh, he's only got one. I mean, we could breed him with... Hmm. I, I'm kind of regretting my choices here. Because what I should have done is I should have bred... I think we're going to sell Ace. Oh, I don't want to sell Ace. He's so nice. I'm sorry, guys. We're going to have to sell Ace. Run, run out of room. I should have doubled up this account and then sold all the others and then done it like that because I didn't realise it'd be quite this hard to breed the colour but you know Prince is gorgeous guys but we are going to sell him as well just we're going to work with our mares so the stallions are great but I think having the mares gives us more of a chance to maybe find the colour the only one I'm holding out hope for is Fred but I'm not sure who I'm going to breed Fred with exactly so I think let's try and breed Pinky again Oh, Snowflake's so nice. Let's breed Pinky again, because she's got the best um, lineage. Or we could try Daisy one more time with Fred, but it's a bit inbreeding, you know. Standard. Um, let's see if there's anybody else. Let's just refresh. Just come on, guys. Let's find a good stallion. That's got all the colours I love, but not what we're after today. Typical. 
Ooh. That one looks like a panda to me. That is cool. Nothing we want in there either. One more for good luck. Come on, we want the bloody shoulder one. It's so hard to find. It's rare. It's really rare. No. Oh gosh, are we ever going to breed this? We might not breed this today. We might have to do a part two. This has got amazing stats. We might need a part two. That's got a little grey in its family. I'm surprised it's a bay. Do two greys make a bay? We'll probably discover that in the in the series of breeding a white horse. White? Let's go with the, this good started horse. Okay, come on guys. Gotta breed the bloody coloured. Come on. The bloody shoulder colour, that's what we're doing. It's actually a colour. Looks kind of cool. I mean, it's mainly on Arabs by the looks of it, as I said before. Right, Stacy. Come on, you can produce this cool horse. Let's go for it. We did it. And it looks amazing. I've just realised I'm not actually plugged in. And I've got... Um, let me plug myself in. Okay, hopefully that's going to work. Wow, we finally did it. There we go. I've had these headphones on. I thought, am I going deaf? I couldn't hear anything. We've bred our first little guy we did it how long did that take us did that take us i don't know how long that took us actually because i don't know how long i'm recording for anymore look it's so pretty okay i'm pretty happy with that i'm gonna turn this music down actually now it's too loud now there we go oh, i'm so happy with this look at him we actually finally did it do you know how hard that was so he's got to stay in the stable so hopefully we've bred one stallion that looks like him, so that's good. Let's give him to Stallion. We're gonna call him. He's really cool, actually. Look at his face. Oh, he's gone kind of a darker colour. That's nice. He's nice. Uh, let's call him. I kind of want to go with this. I do like the name Gizmo. You know, after the film Gremlins, we can use him as a stud with some of our mares now. And the, the chances of breeding his colouring is gonna be like through the roof. So we'll probably sell Fred then. Oh, I'm sorry, Fred. Fred's gorgeous. If Fred was a horse in real life, I would totally have him in real life. Okay. So Stacy and Pinky are great. I have a feeling that we're going to be related if we start. We could breed Gizmo with Pinky. Let's do that. Let's do that. Gizmo with Pinky. Okay, let's do it. Gizmo's a great name for a horse. I love it. Okay, let's see what this combo produces. I don't know if it'll be level 10. I'm not sure. Probably not. Daisy's waiting. I kind of want to see what Snowflake produces. This was bred with our stallion we just sold. So let's go for it. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's one of those like Christmas cracker ones. I call them the Christmas cracker ponies. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, my voice is very good. Okay, yeah, that's gorgeous. Let's skip her to mare. I'd like to kind of breed... I'd really like to breed a Palomino bloody, bloody shoulder one. I think it'd be cool. This is lush. This is a really rare colour horse. But let's look at your pedigree. Mm, how, how, why did I think that was ever going to breed? <laughs> I don't know. Right, we're going to sell her. I'm sorry. Look. Oh, it's heartbreaking. Because... We're not breeding that colour right now. And I'm not even sure what that colour is, but we're not breeding it right now. Let's use Gizmo. Ah, we should probably... Um, why don't we find out what these two produce? Actually, Pinky's bred with Gizmo, isn't she? So why don't we breed Gizmo with... Could go Fossy Foghorn or Violet. Could go Violet. They're both, like, kind of a bit weird looking. Which means we're probably going to have a plain fault, as I said to you guys. I'm not going to lie. I can't remember who I bred Daisy with. But, but we're going to find out now. <laughs> Let's go find out now. Oh, a little chocolate. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, that's cute. I love a bay, me. I love a bay. Not what we're after. It's a level nine. Teapot. That's a great name for a horse. Is there a genuine... Uh, we went to Florida, like... I talk about Florida a lot. It's because it's, it's generally my happy place. I'd move to Florida in a heartbeat if I could um we'll just sell this one i'm afraid guys oh you're lovely but not what we're after um yeah so when we went to florida we went to universal studios we went to all the theme parks and all that kind of shebang and um 
Yeah. Apparently there's a stigma with British people and cups of tea. Because oh, there's a fly in this room. Driving me mental. Um, I'm going to cry chop him. Yeah, basically. Um, he's on me again. There's, fly. there's a fly in here and he's been bothering me all day. All day. He's been in this room for like two days and I can't get him out. He loves it here. Like, I love your house, guys. I want to read not Fussy Foghorn because she hasn't got enough. Let's go with a random one. Let's go with Octavia. It's not going to be a high stacked horse, but hey ho. Anyway, yeah, so we were like having uh, dinner in the Marvel Studios bit with Wolverine and Spider Man and stuff. And Wolverine kept taking the mickey out of us, being like, oh, you're from the UK. You must love tea. And where's your tea and things? And I was like, I don't really like tea. I drink coffee like all the time. It's terrible, isn't it? Um, oh, I don't know who to do. Let's go Violet. Should we go Violet first? Well, Pinky's the one that's been waiting the longest, so. Let's come on, Pinky. What have you produced? Fingers crossed. <gasps> yes, we've bred another one. I reckon if we could breed three of them today, that would be good. And same colour, but I would like a, um. I would like a Palomino, maybe? Am I being a bit. Oh, let's cancel because I want to take a picture of her. Let's call this one Bliss. I know one of my students was called Bliss. It's quite a nice name. Right. Ah, oh, Gizmo! He produced her. Okay. I uh, wonder if we can just change the backdrop here. It's like a little, little plethora of an army of the bloody shoulder. Ah, oh, That's kind of nice. I like that. Great. Okay, let's skip this one to Mare, see what she looks like. I didn't actually go riding today, guys. The weather again in the UK. I mean... The wind is unbelievable. Is it global warming? I didn't realise she was level 10. What am I doing? We need to breed her, don't we, guys? Yes. We have one stable left. Hey, so we bred Gizmo, we've bred Bliss. So Briss, Briss, blah, 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 blah. Bliss probably needs to be bred with something like a random stallion again. Let's go find her. Where is she? Okay. Not with Gizmo, because that'd be totally inbreeding. I'm going to count to... Oh, my mouse does this. It just randomly goes off somewhere. Um, Hollywood. Okay, guys. I'm going to do something crazy. I'm going to count to... T um, no, let's go... My mental age. Six. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And let's just check out both lineages here. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Great. And then let's have a look at this one. Uh oh. Okay, spaghetti all. One more time. One more time. One more time. I can't help myself. I'm sorry. I can't help myself. Oh, this one's got amazing colours. It's so pretty. Uh, what about you? Oh, this fly in here is driving me mad. It keeps landing on me as well. Did you see him then? Did you see him then? What should we call him? I'm gonna call him Buzz the Fly, so he can buzz off. Right back we go. So my other channel, guys, Lady Unleashed Gaming, I, I've i been doing a Planet Zoo series on there, but it's lagging so much. I'm thinking I might just stop for a while until I get a new system, but I'm not going to be able to buy a new system. So I don't know what to do, really, because Planet Zoo needs a... You need, a, like, a huge machine to play on it. Okay, so guys, I'm not going to look at the lineage anymore. I'm just going to use a random one with high stats. High stats! Oh, my voice is breaking today. This is good. Ooh, yep, this one will do. Breed. Okay, boot brawn. Don't know what brute bra brawn is going to produce, but we'll find out, I'm sure. Let's go discover what Violet produces, though. Are you ready, chaps? Let's go. <gasps> wow, that was lucky, I think. We're getting closer to the Palomino end, but that's that's lovely. Oh, guys, we've had a great session. It's just suddenly starting to happen. Uh, I don't want to skip some out. I do want to get a little picture. But what am I going to do now? I've run out of stables. So I'll tell you what we'll do. Because I feel like... I said to you I wanted to breed three of them, really. It definitely works. As soon as Gizmo was, like, the dad, that was it. Let's try a different um, image here. Yay! That's quite nice, actually. Let's get... Yeah, there we go. Because that's quite a bright shade of orange. Chestnut. Guys, have you enjoyed the new game that we're playing? Horse Eden Eventing. It's amazing. Let's go discover what these next two horses produce. And then we're going to have to make a decision from there, I think. So we've got Octavia and we have Bliss. Okay, Octavia was a bit of a random choice. But we'll see. We'll see. Who knows? Who knows? 
Oh, cute. But it's not kind of what we're after. I'm glad we... Yeah, we left the other one in the stable lot. That's cute. The way they sort of stumble when they get up is so cute. Let's skip her to mayor. What does that say? Nocturnal Trust. <laughs> Silly name. It's like an owl. I think of an owl. There we go. Ah. So, I, what time is it? I'm actually teaching in an hour, guys. How crazy is that? Uh, pedigree. Pedigree's great, but we will... Uh, I'm pressing We're going to sell her just because her stats, you know, she's a level 8 or a grade 8. What would you call them? Level or grade? I don't really know. I don't know. Um, and then we've got one last fault to potentially find here. So we'll see. So fingers crossed. Let's go. Last fall of the video? Possibly. Let's go. <gasps> it's literally her mini me. Oh my gosh. Way. This is brilliant. Okay. So, whoa. I want a picture first. Let's call this one Rummy. Rummy's a great name. Is it French? Maybe I should have said Remy. Remy the rat. Do you remember him? Okay. Let's go overview. Let's go a different place. Different place, a different land. You fell in love with holding my hand. I don't know why I just sang that. Uh, okay, cool. We've got the field. Ooh. That's cute, isn't it? I think that's cute. Let's show the dam because she's got the same colouring. Great! We've read some cool stuff today. What a session we have had. Cute. Um, so let's just see how many stable blocks we actually have next. How many stable blocks do we have left? Because I think... Oh, we can sell Pinky and... Let's sell Pinky a second. Let's do that. Done. And then we'll sell... My name is Stacy. Can you hear the wind? I hear the wind call my name. The sound so strong. Let's see what she looks like as an adult. And you get 10 points if you know where that song is from. You should know. Wee, look how pretty she is. Woohoo. Rummy, bless gizmo. Look at these, they're all the same sort of shade. So violets is the only one that's come out with slightly different coloring, different shade. That's cool. Why is my mouse thinking? That never that never gives me much, uh, much, much good there. <laughs> I'm like, oh, why is it doing that? We, I feel like that was really cool. They all look exactly the same. So we've had Gizmo Bliss, Chunk Prawn, who needs a new name, clearly. Uh, let's call this one uh, Maria. Oh, you want to see her. And that's fine. Okay. Look at those four. We have a stable free. We have a stable free. Ooh. I don't even know how long I've been recording this video for. I have no clue. But we do have a stable free. Mm. I think let's try and breed one more bloody shoulder. I would like, I would really, 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 really like a Palomino version of, you know, what we've bred so far. But I don't, I don't know. We'll see. Let's see if we can get a Palomino stallion. Just any old Palomino stallion, like you, you'll do. Uh, let's see if it happens. And we've got to be a little bit careful here because I literally have the one stable left. So we'll probably have to breed them as we go until I get a Palomino. Palomino bloody shoulder type thing. Or something different, you know? Oh, that's something different. Oh, Lady Ranger, that's something different. That's What do I do about that? Because that's like an amazing colour. Okay, I wanted a Palomino, but I'm, I'm kind of happy with that. We just bred it straight away. What? Let's care for foal. Oh, Pixie's a great name for a horse. My friend growing up had a little... Oh, cancer. Had a little horse called Pixie. It's really cute. Is this the same colouring... Oh, wrong one. Same coat patterning as... So cute. Um, Let's just get one of these... I love the little photo shoots. They're cute. I would like to know what this horse looks like as an adult. So let's go find out. Is it going to be the same colouring as all the others? I think it probably is, isn't it? <gasps> no, it's like a grey. It's kind of like a grey one. Let's name her something cool as well. 
Oh, just kind of what I wanted. I thought it might have taken me a bit longer then, but nope. Uh, I know exactly what I'm going to call this one. Pixie. Great name for a horse. Um, let's have a look at all these combos then. So we've got, let's take away the overview and no tack. Let's change this horse to you. Hmm. It's a cool combo. Cool combo of colours. The grey one in the middle is nice actually. That's kind of good. I like this. This is wicked. We also have like the three bay, bay ones that look exactly the same as well. Yeah, well, do you know what, guys? I think that was amazingly successful. That couldn't have gone better. I would have liked maybe another Palomino one of that, but we do have Aurora. So, yeah, look at all these bloody shoulder horses in their stable. <laughs> this is brilliant. Oh, my gosh. Just when I thought it was going to be a little bit tricky to do this. Nope, super happy with that. All thanks to Gizmo, really. Gizmo sort of changed our... The stallion definitely changed our luck there, I think. But thanks to Daisy and Aurora for inspiring this video. Yeah, what's next? I think something involving this horse, but needs a new name because I'm not leaving it called that. No, no way, Jose, okay? <laughs> That's it for today then, I think, guys. What have you got rest, uh, planned for the rest of your day? Let me know in the comments below. Have a awesome rest of your day. Have you subbed? Make sure you subscribe, turn on your notification bell. And yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, then please give it a, a thumbs up because it does help us and the horses. So yeah. Okay, guys, have a lovely, lovely, awesome day. And I'll see you all real soon. Bye.